The missus has gone in, so I'm going to sample this. <laughs> See what it tastes like. Oh, that is nectar. Now we need a small jar of warm water, small cup, small whatever. One good tablespoonful of teaspoon teaspoon of sugar. More than that, or just that's it. Teaspoon sugar. Okay. Dissolve it. So you've got to dissolve the sugar in the warm water. Well, let's do that one over there. Yep. We're preparing the yeast. Is it dissolved? Yep. I'm going to wipe that. Well, we couldn't find any. We couldn't find any wine yeast, so we've had to use bread yeast. Okay, so we're going to mix this right now in here. I did try to squash it against the sides before, James. So then what we'll do, then this will stand now for an hour. And then we'll um, add it to the bucket. Okay, so you've got to mix, put the yeast in and mix it. What I've done is just squash it against the side because it's quite tacky and then really stirred it. So it's got the yeast and then cover it for one hour. And then we're going to add it to the bucket. Seven o'clock in here, so we just covered that as well. So we don't get no flies in it or bits and bobs, okay? Okay, it's been an hour and it's definitely frothy doppers. It's bubbling at the bottom, so now we're going to add it. It's not very good, though. it's not focusing. Yeah. Well, it's frothy. Does it smell that? It smells, it smells like yeasty. Oh, yeah, that's definitely, definitely yeasty. What does he smell like? I don't know, actually. Might be a bit of an odd picture because we not seem to be focusing, it's a bit dark in the house now. So now right, it stays, in, stays in the bucket for how long? Uh, four days. Four days now. It'll start fermenting and then where to then Jane? Jimmy Jimmy Demi John. Demi bottle. Bought some of this. Muslin. This should keep the this little uh flies. Fruit flies. You don't want them getting into anything. Well when we used to do winemaking, this is our first effort at cider. When we did winemaking. You don't want any fruit flies oh, in. Okay, so she's going to put the muslin oh, on there. More than I thought. That's all right. Or you could put cling film. That. Any nars is getting in there. You will tie it, yeah. We could tie it, but we found something that fits oh, yeah. it. Perfect. Good morning. We're going to have a look now at our cider that we started to prepare yesterday. Uh, and we're going to have a look now. Mmm. Looks like a sponge cake. Doesn't it? So what James decided to do, to add a little bit more sugar. Uh, because they reckon that the alcohol content when using bread red yeast. yeast is not as good. So we're going to add a little bit more cider for this. Uh, it's not cider, but we could do. Um, <laughs> sugar. So James going to add a cup, well half a cup of sauce sugar. About an inch. Yeah, about an inch. And then stir it in. And then we're going to leave it then for how long? We'll just check it every day. Okay. Four or five days and then put it in the demi -jump. Okay. Does it smell? It smells nice. It smells. Happily. I don't know what you're doing this step, but some, some of them do and some of them don't. So. We've not done it before. And I like sweet cider. Did you like sweet cider? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's frothy, look at that. That's mm -hmm. what the yeast has done. So uh, we'll do this and then we'll leave it um, and then we'll damage on it. We'll show you that as we damage on it. And as, as it's closer to the time, we will give it a test and uh, let you know what happens. Okay, okay the next part of it is to 
remove the cider from the bucket using a jug. So we now got, we, haven't got a siphon. we haven't got a siphon. So and then we're going to put it into the demi jug. Is that enough? Uh, we're going to strain it first. Smells beautiful. Well, how are you going to strain it? It doesn't look as though it's bubbling quite so much. There's not that sort of like cakey lump on the top, is there? Yeah. Yeah. So Jane removed bits or just a bit of froth off the top. Yeah, but it's not as bad as it was, so it's calmed down a lot. It's supposed to, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. You need to siphon it now. Okay. Okay, to siphon it, Jane's going to use a straining bag. <coughs> well then, you can do put it over the bowl. I don't know what it looks like yet. Okay. But hopefully. Am I going to do that? Or am I going to just use a sieve? No, I'll hold it if you want it. That's it. Just do that and then. Really? Do you want me to pour it? Not a sieve. Hang it's, on. it's not as fine though, is it? Hey, Jane was thinking of using the sieve, but this Quite. is a lot finer. Just hold it and I'll pour it. Okay. I'll pour it. Sorry. My bowl is too big. I'm going to ask my bowl. Bit at a time. Why not? I'm really not going to get much out of that. I've seen. Bits. No, oh, just in case. There's a bit. It's probably a fly. But not big. That'll make it turn to vinegar. Well, that's what it does to wine, isn't it? Well, I'm going to pull that back in there and put it in there. How's that? There's a bit in there, look. Oh, right, we'll get some more, yeah. There's a bit of bits in there. Oh, this is not going to be good, is it? Yeah. I have cleaned the demi jug, by the way. So that is... a litre. A litre? And that's a gallon. How many litres in a gallon? Four, it's about five. five yeah. Scrumpy isn't clear, is it? It's not, not as muddy as that. It's like a nice orange mud, isn't it? We'll get back to you when we've filled it up. Yeah, because we're just going to repeat the, repeat the process. So, the top. that's the bit. We're going to have at least Bigger one Demi John. No, I'll fill it totally to the top. Right? No. We... about there. A very good focus on this, the light's not good. No, it's still not focusing. <gasps> There's a piece of something in it. Oh. Anyway, this is the last bit going in now. And then the next video, well the next update for this video will be in four weeks time. Oh well, we've got to put a, a trap on. A trap. Sink, yep. It's a lot of cider. We didn't use the bottom of the bucket, by the way. Because it was a bit gunky by there, yeah? So do it, yep. It went too far. And we've got to do this. Which is a newfangled one for me. I don't know how you do it. How do you do it? He said put something in, didn't he? Put some vodka or something in it? Yeah, we're going to put vodka in, but... Well, I've got put, gin. Put gin in there, and that stops it as a... I think we'd better get some vodka. It's a good excuse yeah. to get some vodka. Okay. This is the old tight trap, which is too old, and this is the new tight trap. Okay. Hopefully it's the top, but that's enough just to make a trap. That's it. We'll chop that and put the vodka in. Okay, topped it up with vodka, which is supposed to be a better way of doing it, and then pop him in, and we'll see you in four weeks' time. If it goes mouldy, when it goes back on itself, 
it would taint this, you see. But if there's vodka in it, it won't go. Moldy. Good point. 